You're watching KKTV 11 News. Welcome on back. I want you to take a second. Imagine losing your sight in your 20s because this was the reality for a Colorado Springs woman. At the time, she thought her dreams of a music career had vanished. But as it turned out, the notes of her life were still just as sweet. She's got a powerful message that all of us need to hear. Here's Lindsay Gruy with our Good News Friday. In 2012, Christina was a rising violist and an Arabic linguist for the U.S. Army. Her future was bright. Then her world changed overnight. Labor Day weekend of 2012, I woke up in the hospital um, and I couldn't see anything out of my left eye. It was neuromyelitis optica, a progressive nervous system disorder. And over the next two and a half years, her world closed up. In 2015, I was declared legally blind. Her military career was over. And for a time, Christina thought her musical future was too. How, how does a musician really learn without being able to see? You know, my whole life, I've been able to read music and sight reading is a big part of our career. And I probably spent about a month in bed. So after a month of my pity party, it was, you know, oh, time to get up and time to figure out what to do. First things first, learn how to navigate the world with a cane. Next, resume her musical studies, which she had put on hold to serve her country. And there in conservatory, in the nurturing hands of her professors, Christina learned that you don't need sight to play. I was so overwhelmed in over my head. I had no idea what I was doing. My very first collegiate teacher, he would literally record all of my music for me and send it to me so I knew what I needed to play. And I would just play it over and over and play with it until I had it memorized. And so I learned note for note and then I'll learn measure for measure. It's a lot of work um, and it was really slow at first, but um, over time I've gotten better at it. It's just a skill you pick up and um, I've been able to memorize operas and um, whole pit orchestra. Nearly nine years to the day when she wondered how she could be a musician without being able to see. Christina, now a professional musician, was chosen to play on one of the greatest stages of all, Carnegie Hall. And unlike seeing musicians who have the option of sheet music, she performed all by memory. And if she could go back in time, what would she tell herself when she first lost her sight? You gotta point towards the sun because everything gets better, you know? I would never have um, imagined that this would be possible now. For Good News Friday, I'm Lindsay Gruy, KKTV 11 News. We have a